We're gonna go do a little bit of RV shopping today. And I'm really excited to bring all of you along for the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gretsch RV here in Riverside, California. Today we're hanging out with AJ. AJ, how you doing, sir? Good, how you doing, Andrew? Excellent, thank you. An honor to be here. Now, a lot of the folks out there are not familiar with Gretsch, and they're not familiar with my past in the limousine business as well. Those of you that don't know, I was a limousine driver long before I ever started YouTube. So I've known about Gretsch for a long time. They've got a tremendous reputation for quality, but you guys recently started playing in the RV game. What's going on, sir? Yeah, absolutely. So um, so we started building uh, just over two years ago, so these very high-end luxury class B vans, exclusively built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. And we're building on a few different length chassis right now. We'll show you through all of those. The other side of our business, as Andrew mentioned, is uh, Gretsch Motors, which is our high-end luxury shuttle buses like you see over here quickly. Yeah, let's take a quick walk over Absolutely. here. Now, how long has Gretsch been in business? Well, Mr. Gretsch has been manufacturing luxury custom vehicles for over 40 years now. And a lot of uh, the company employees have been with him for over 30 years. He started out uh, building stretch limousines back in the very early 1980s. He's built uh, everything from funeral cars, hearses, to luxury shuttle buses, and uh, also did some motorhomes in the past. And uh, luxury shuttle bus is still a very main part of our business. And of course now the Class B vans here. So what you see here, this is uh, one of our buses. This is uh, built on the Ford F600 chassis. Uh, this is our, our GM33 model. Gretsch definitely has a tremendous reputation about how they do things. First, let's show you around. We'll show you all of our different models. Now, those of you that have been following the channel know quality is extremely important to me. And there's a lot of Class B RVs on the market right now, but sometimes it's the stuff that you can't see on the outside that really makes all of the difference. Now, Gretsch is a premium level Class B RV, probably a little more on the expensive side, but what are some of the stuff that you guys do that command a premium? There's a lot of different things that we're doing right now. First of all, our, our lithium ion battery package is uh, the highest capacity in the market. Uh, we're partnered there with Lithionix batteries. So we'll show you a lot about that and we'll go through the undercarriage here and underneath everything that we add to the undercarriage is all stainless steel. Yeah, yeah. let's take a look here. The attention to detail underneath is just as important to us as the attention to detail and fit and finish on the interior of the vehicle. So we'll start going through here. First of all, our fiberglass body kit. This is a core matte fiberglass, very structurally rigid. You'll see our running board steps on each side, the extensive stainless steel bracing that we have just on the running board step. The passenger entry step, the amount of stainless steel bracing that we have there. And you'll see on our fiberglass body skirts here, you've got the skirt brackets here. Again, all stainless steel. Now this is stuff that we don't see on the standard Mercedes chassis or our other RV manufacturers doing all these stainless steel reinforcements like Gretsch. There's absolutely not a Class B van on the market that has this level of attention to detail and care that goes into the undercarriage of this vehicle. See here the freshwater tank, again, all stainless steel here on our freshwater tank that's heated, of course, our gray water tank here, again, all stainless steel there. Now, anything with a dual rear wheel, being our Strata models and our Torino models, does have a macerator system, and it does have the power attractable hose reel. Again, you'll see all stainless steel there. This here is our Timberline system. This is our diesel fuel-fired continuous flow hot water and heating furnace on the Timberline system. Okay, so again, everything we do underneath here being stainless steel, what you'll see here is you're gonna see our seat belt anchors. And are those stainless steel brackets as well? Yes, everything is going to be stainless steel that we add to the undercarriage. And of course, our seat belts need to be pull tested for safety reasons. You'll see here the stainless steel seat belt anchors on the undercarriage. Also, under our lithium battery package units, those lithium batteries are going to be securely fastened in the same manner to a stainless steel tray to hold those batteries in securely. Some of our competitors you'll see out there, they're just gonna take a lithium battery and they're gonna throw it inside of a cabinet or a wooden box. And uh, we'll show you a little bit more about what we do differently there with that lithium ion battery package. When you look underneath one of our vehicles, you're gonna see the attention to detail of all of our wiring, 
being securely fastened all around, wire loomed and securely fastened. You're never gonna see any free floating wires or tubing, anything of the sort underneath our vehicle. And I'm noticing here more of those steel brackets. Is that all for the seats or what are all those brackets that we're seeing? That's right. You're gonna see those for seats and for batteries for the lithium ion battery trace, that's correct. And there's a different levels of models of the Gretsch RVs. We're gonna show you guys each different level model, but let's keep uh, looking at the undercarriage of this van here. We're underneath a Strata right now. Okay, yep. um, again, everything we add here, you know, your macerator system, all stainless steel, and this is all made in house. Uh, back here, anything with a dual rear wheel chassis, again, being our Strata models or our Torino models, we've upgraded the rear suspension to an air suspension system. Uh, this suspension system is from our partner Kelderman. Uh, they're a 50 year old company based out of Iowa. And uh, we've been working with them for many, many years on uh, the bus side of our business. So very reputable, well-established company, a phenomenal quality product, giving you a really superior ride quality. Okay, so this is above and beyond over what the, the standard Sprinter chassis offers? That's correct, yes. This is something we add. Also, you'll see here, you know, we're upgrading all of the wheels on all of our units are upgraded alloy wheels. Going a little bit further back, of course, we order everything with the Mercedes-Benz uh, factory trailer hitch. So our beautiful custom fiberglass body kit here, you'll see all custom made in house. And also one of our signature trade dress features is this very nice stainless steel that goes over the Mercedes-Benz factory molding. And you'll see the faint uh, Gretsch logo here, very subtle. So again, this is a structural core mat fiberglass, extremely durable, very, very sturdy. We've got the stainless steel support brackets all around. You see the stainless steel structure holding on that side running board. And this here was gonna hold any amount of weight. Hey, little pull up there. <laughs> I challenge you to do pull ups on the running boards of some of these other uh, class B vans. I don't know how well they're gonna hold up and if you're gonna have a lot of flex, but definitely shows how robust this is. You'll see our sidestep, how that's neatly formed into the fiberglass body molding. Very sturdy doors for all of our compartments here, all built into that. So design, but with intent. One thing that I'm really impressed with, when we look down the side of this Sprinter van, we're not seeing all kinds of outlets and stuff, different ports cut into the side of the van here. What is Gretsch doing differently? So this is a very clean, beautiful side profile here, which is um, not only great for appearances, but also for longevity of the vehicle, of course. You know, some of the competing higher-end vans out there, you'll see they've got, you know, upwards of eight holes punched in the side of this van. So over the years, of course, that's be gonna become a maintenance item. Our unit here, we have a patented design here. This is a stainless steel utility center uh, hidden behind what appears to be the Mercedes-Benz factory molding. This is actually a custom fiberglass piece here. And this stainless steel utility center houses everything you'll need. So down here, of course, you've got your macerator system on this model with the power retractable hose reel. You've got your gray valve, your black valve, your outdoor shower, your city water connection, city water fill, and of course, your 30 amp shore power there, all neatly concealed here. Now, as we're walking around to the different models, I see that this is the Toronto, and then behind us, we've got a Strata with the Ion. What are the different models? Can we start with kind of an entry level? Why don't we start level? with um, the smallest of models? We'll kind of go up from smallest to largest. So what you see here is our Turismo model. The Turismo is built on the 144 inch wheelbase. This is available in two wheel drive or four wheel drive currently. All of our models have standard a propane generator and optional, you can get the lithium ion battery package. We'll show you a little bit more about that. This is a Turismo Ion. Our battery package is the highest capacity of any lithium battery package available to the Class B market. We're 30% higher capacity than our nearest competitor. And that battery package at 1260 amp hours with our power management system connected to our Firefly system, that's gonna run the entire house for up to 12 hours. Wow. Um, even in the hottest climates, we've gotten several hours out of that AC system. All of our bathrooms are gonna be the same size in every single model that we build. So step in here quickly, you'll see one unique feature is that window in our bathroom. This is a one-piece fiberglass wet bath. 
I like and we're it. We're the only B van out there that is going to have a window in this. Yeah, I like a little mirror there as well. And I really like the wet bath. Uh, the shower will actually come up right here. I've been watching some of your guys' videos, but makes it easy. You clean the shower, the bathroom every time you take a shower. I like the wet bath. But what else is going on in this 144? So this one, of course, being the shortest wheelbase that we offer, you've still got a full galley here. Since this is a lithium ion package unit, you still got that same deep farmhouse style sink that's standard in all of our models, solid surface countertops. Every lithium ion battery package unit is going to come with an induction cooktop. Our propane generator models do have a propane cooktop. Back here, of course, you've got a memory foam power retractable sofa bed that's controlled through your Firefly system. You've got two Firefly touchscreen control systems and also the Firefly Bluetooth app that will control everything here. Really cool lighting I'm noticing. And then, you know, this Firefly panel, this is something like we're going to see in the high end luxury diesel motor homes. What all are you able to do from this uh, panel up here? So this is going to control everything here. So we'll just start on the home screen here. Again, you've got your power retractable uh, rear sofa, your side ottomans that forms uh, into just shy of a queen size bed in this model. You've got all of your fresh water, gray water, black water tank monitoring, your interior lights, your awning of course, and then as we go down here, more lighting controls, your power management system here. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know about this. We go here, you've got your AC of course, your uh, roof vent fan, there's also a vent fan of course in the bathroom. You've got your power window shades all around. You've got a power rear screen as well. But this is one touch power screens. Of course, you can control them individually also. Oh, so you've got day and night shades basically, or? Uh, these are all blackout shades on the sides, but on the rear, you do have a rear screen. Okay, yes, sir. You don't sir. want to make that dark. Patio screen door here. Nice, keep that fresh air in, keep the bugs out. I like that. We also have a power rear screen as you'll see there. So you can leave that open at night, keep the bugs out. Your ceiling panel as well is gonna be a fiberglass honeycomb composite material, all one piece cut to the shape of each uh, unit. The only wood you're gonna find in our units is going to be this beautiful birch um, wood for our cabinetry with the European veneers. Everything else we do is gonna be a custom fiberglass mold. Everything in every single one of our coaches is going to be fully insulated throughout. There is not a single area of the interior of this motorhome that is not going to be fully insulated. We're using foil face fiberglass insulation throughout the entire coach. Every single wall, ceiling panel, even your front overhead compartment, every door is going to be fully insulated. And that'll again reduce noise, keep the temperature more consistent uh, over your competitors? Absolutely. So not many B-Vans out there are doing full insulation and nobody's going through the extent that we are for insulation. And of course, it's for weather, for climate control, but also road noise and, and insulation in that respect. And the longevity of the coach. Four wheel drive with lithium battery system, totally decked out. So this is our highest end of the Turismo model line. This is a Turismo Ion 4x4. This one has an MSRP of 228.9. Awesome. So now this is on the 2500 chassis. I think all the 144s are going to be the 2500 chassis. That's right. This is a 2500 chassis single rear wheel. Our next size up from this is going to be our Torino model. And this is also built on a 3500, just like the Strata, dual rear wheel. But this is built on the non-extended chassis. So this is a 170 inch wheelbase but it's non-extended. So what that means compared to the Strata is you don't get that extra rear storage space behind the rear sofa, but both available in the same floor plan options. So the nope. floor plan here is the lounge that we're looking at, and this is also available in the tour floor plan that we'll show you. The Torino is also available, again, standard with a propane generator and available in the lithium ion battery package. But the Torino right now is available in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. What you're looking at today is the Torino four wheel drive with a lounge floor plan. Nice, and this does not have the lithium system, I believe. This does not. This is a propane generator. This is the Iridium Silver exterior with our light wood interior. We'll start looking out the inside. First of all, start pointing out some of our construction here. Uh, below this floor, this is a vinyl woven flooring. And below that, we have two different layers of subfloor. The first layer is cut to shape of each floor plan. It's a one piece. is a composite foam board for insulation. On top of that, we have another three quarter inch layer, again, cut to shape of each floor plan, one piece of three quarter inch honeycomb fiberglass material. And then we have this waterproof vinyl woven flooring on top of both layers of subfloor there. So that's great for noise insulation, weather insulation, of course, and longevity of the vehicle. Absolutely stunning surface here on the floor. I really like that. And it's easy to clean 
but I've seen some of the other Class B RVs in the market. What's different about the Gretsch than, than what some of the other Class Bs we see out there? You know, our competitors are typically using one layer of three quarter inch marine grade plywood versus our one piece composite materials that are dual layers. So again, we've got the two different uh, three quarter inch layers there, cut to shape of each floor plan, all one piece. So you've got an inch and a half total flooring there. So. so what's the benefits of that? I know there's probably a lot more cost to build that that way, but I'm assuming more insulation, less road noise. What's, what's going on? It is, yeah, certainly an increased cost, but what this is providing is road noise certainly significantly reduced, much more insulation from the weather, and most importantly, longevity of the vehicle, being that it's all one piece composite materials. And we're gonna be doing a test drive video here soon, so I can't wait to take you guys on a test drive in this van. And then also too, if you get a chance to test drive some of the other vans, and just listen for the different noises compared to the Gretsch. There's definitely a noticeable difference, but let's uh, take a look inside here. So again, this is the lounge floor plan. All of our seating materials are gonna be ultra leather seating fabrics, very high-end quality material. Uh, this is a ultra high-end vinyl material. Ultra leather is a name brand. It's not actually leather, but what that means is it's gonna be cool to the touch in the summertime, warmer to the touch in the wintertime, never gonna you know, fluctuate in temperatures very much and gonna be much more durable over the years. So as we come inside here, again, this is the lounge floor plan. You'll see that these two front seats have the ability to swivel. The center seats do swivel. And then we have a table base here for a card table to go in. Only on the lounge floor plans, do we have the front overhead TV here? Yeah, I just want to point out, I really like the shape of, of this housing unit for this TV. You've still got that extra headroom and a little bit of storage here for your passenger as well as your driver. But just having that extra headroom really makes a difference when you are in the cockpit of this van. Yes, and this is all one piece fiberglass mold as well. You'll see a lot of our competitors simply take the TV in this position and they put it on a folding mechanism that folds up and down of course that's going to rattle as you're driving down the road very often so beautiful colors in this now what else are we going to see in this van that we did not see in the turismo of course this is a larger uh interior versus the turismo this is the torino the 170 inch non-extended chassis this is our light wood interior first of all all of our cabinetry is custom built in-house solid birch wood uh, with a european veneer on all the cabinetry you'll see the quality of our hinges here all around as we come to the galley here again this is a propane generator unit so you're going to get the propane cooktop versus the lithium ion battery package units do have an induction cooktop and here we do have that farmhouse deep sink here we have the solid surface countertops you do have your microwave here which is a combination microwave air fryer convection oven now in the lounge floor plans you do get the smaller refrigerator here and then as we come back here you've got a lot more usable seat space here in the lounge floor plan we have a total of nine seat belted positions including the driver and co-pilot we do have another tv back here with a sound bar you have a second Firefly touchscreen control panel there. All of this is going to come together to form that larger queen size bed. You have a lagoon table mount here. Oh yeah. And Gretsch does have a bunch of different videos on their YouTube channel demonstrating a lot of this stuff. I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. But I wanna point out real quick, We've got a lot of room. You know, we're two big guys sitting in the back of this van. I'm very comfortable. I've got plenty of foot room here. Definitely not feeling claustrophobic at all, but this also folds into a bed. Our rear bed is, uh, we've been told, the most comfortable of any B-Van out there. This is memory foam. This all comes together through the Firefly system. These are power retractable side ottomans, power retractable sofa that folds into a queen size bed back here. Also, you'll see our side walls here. First of all, this is a soft touch wall treatment. All of our side walls are all one piece fiberglass molds as well. You're never gonna see anything here that's using light plywood. This is all one piece fiberglass molds for the full length of the vehicle, which is something very unique and special. Again, that high end fit and finish. This really, when I look closely at this wall, this is gonna remind me of a four travel or a Newell coach, the way these window boxes are. Now, will these windows vent out as well? They do, yeah. These are pop out windows here. 
that'll vent out uh, on the rear. On the Stratas and the Torinos, you get those on both sides. On the Turismos, you're only gonna get that on this side. A nice little feature to get some fresh air back here. Now I'm noticing we have a lot of lighting. Not all the lights are turned on, still very bright in here. We've got storage above. What all else is going on in the back of this coat? So you've got, you know, this beautiful LED ambient accent lighting all around. You'll see the blue LED ambient accent lighting up above and then the white lighting below. Your individual reading lights that can be turned on and off individually as well. Tremendous storage all around, of course. We're gonna maximize the use and the space of this van. Here you've got your card table up here stored right now. These are your front window shades and you've got side storage space all the way around. Yeah, nice big deep storage, uh, especially for a class B van. Absolutely. Okay, we've got a lot of vans to look through here because I want to show you guys. They've got so much cool stuff going on. What else are we looking at? Yeah, okay, here's a Strata with our lounge floor plan. Yeah, and this is something I didn't point out on the last unit, but carbon fiber kind of accent here on this armrest. Is that real carbon fiber or a carbon fiber wrap? That is a, a hydrographics dip okay. uh, made to look like carbon fiber. So yeah. it looks great. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to lay this rear sofa system down into a bed, which is very simple right here for your sofa and then your individual side ottomans. All right, guys, I got to try this out for size. AJ, you mind holding the camera here? Oh, I don't want to put my shoes on. These are new shoes, but I don't want to put them on this leather. I can't even reach the doors here. Oh, I think I'm going to have a really good night's sleep tonight. So again, our Strata models and our Torino models are both available in the lounge floor plan that you see here or the tour floor plan that we saw earlier there. So this is the lounge floor plan. And again, those front seats swivel and you have your extra captain's chairs here with that beautiful card table that can be easily removed in addition to that lagoon table mount in the rear. So this is great for uh, four people to sit here and chat, have some dinner. Yeah, absolutely. Nice little space. I like that you have multiple spaces. So if someone wanted to maybe take a nap back there, uh, you could still get some work done up here and even a little nice little storage cubby with USB outlets. I uh, like that Gretsch RV stitching there in the headrest. Just a nice little touch. A nice dock lighting around the floor. Just another little nice touch. We got we got some more vans to look at, AJ. What else is going on in here, sure sir? Do. So now that we've seen the Torino with a lounge floor plan, what I'd like to do is show you a Strata with a tour floor plan. The Strata, again, being on the extended chassis, you'll see you're getting 16 inches more space added to the length of the vehicle, same wheelbase. But what this is giving you is all this extra rear storage here. So you have all this storage space behind the rear sofa. Now this is the tour floor plan. This is by far our most popular floor plan right now. So what the tour floor plan is going to give you is first of all, your larger wardrobe closet there, your larger refrigerator. This is now on the driver's side of the vehicle. And then the tour doesn't have the TV up top as well, or? That's right. The only models we have with the TV up here are gonna be the lounge floor plans because you have those additional captain's chairs here. Those are great for, you know, larger families using the vehicle as perhaps a people mover, people with traveling sports teams and so on. Then in the tour floor plan, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get in and out of your cockpit area without having that there. So. That's right. And just like the other models, all these seats are swiveling. You'll see you have your fold-up laptop table here. Oh, yeah. And then you have your lagoon table mount here also. These seats swivel around. Yeah, a good size wardrobe there. And is this uh, shelving looks like it's fixed? It is fixed. I've got to point out, I like that piano hinge. That's a very robust hinge on that door. And then again here, you're going to get the larger refrigerator. You've got your freezer up top, slide out refrigerator drawer there for the taller drinks. Nice. Also, in the tour floor plan, you're going to get a larger galley. So you've got a lot more usable kitchen space here. Again, this is a lithium ion package unit. So you've got your induction cooktop, that microwave we spoke about earlier. Same sink that's the same size in every single one of our models here. Nice solid surface countertop. Your bathroom is going to be the same size in every single model that we manufacture. Yeah, again, a window in the bathroom. I really like that to bring in some natural light. And I like the style of the lighting, the cool uh, shapes. A lot of really cool lighting. And I'm sure Mr. Gretsch has had a lot of experience with lighting uh, with over 40 years of manufacturing uh, vehicles. So you guys have thought of a lot. So. Absolutely. What you see here, again, all of our cabinetry, again, being that solid birch wood with these European veneers. This is your dark wood veneer uh, versus a light wood you saw earlier. We're using the highest quality possible materials. Our attention to detail, our fit and finish, 
These cabinets, first of all, take one for a test drive. Ride this down the street, hit some railroad tracks, go over the worst street possible, hit some potholes. You're not gonna hear any squeaks and rattles in the back of our unit. When you enter one of our units, go ahead and knock on these cabinets. You're gonna see, once you open these cabinets, these beautiful hinges are custom formed, manufactured in-house aluminum extrusions holding these cabinets to your sidewalls and your ceilings. You know, the galley here, this is very solid construction. We spoke earlier about our one piece fiberglass side walls. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I mean, when you start knocking on walls in motor homes, that tells a story. The fact that you're not afraid to do that tells a lot of a story. You're not gonna appreciate this coach until you step foot in one and take one for a test drive, I promise you. Our lithium ion battery package uh, for all of our ion units is the same in every single model, whether you're looking at the Turismo, the Torino, or the Strata. And our partner here is Lithionics Batteries, okay? So you're gonna see two batteries in the back here. And this is all UL listed, UL tested. They're the only lithium ion batteries currently in the motorhome market that are fully UL listed, UL tested from Underwriters Laboratory. Again, we've got our stainless steel tray here. You'll see this is securely bolted through the subfloor and then also another secure bracket on the top, bolting that down, securely fastening these. And you'll see the attention to detail of our wiring. Everything we do in every single model is the same wiring harness, all color coded. The attention to detail here is really something to be admired. Now, what kind of usage uh, can someone expect to get out of these batteries? So with our current setup, uh, you can use your AC system here and run the house for up to 12 hours, depending on conditions. Uh, we've tested that several times in many different climates and different situations. Uh, we're 30% higher capacity than any of our competitors with this current battery package. This is also giving you a 280 amp auxiliary alternator that is recharging these house batteries from idle. In fact, you're going to get about 180 usable amps out of that auxiliary alternator at idle. And so then of course, as you're driving down the road, you're going to get a higher charge rate. What all are you able to run off of the lithium batteries? Is there anything that you can't run other than the engine, obviously? There is nothing in the house that you cannot run. This will run your induction cooktop, your microwave, all your lighting, your TVs, your refrigerator, your AC, everything. So you were just running just your AC unit. I know it's hard to pin down exact numbers, but a ballpark, how many hours would you be able to run just an AC unit if you were not driving and not charging the batteries? Yeah, on full charge, we have tested this, um, again, in a, a hot climate uh, with all of the doors closed, the window shades down, and had that thermostat set at 72 degrees, and we've gotten over 12 hours on this battery pack. Wow, that's very impressive. Now, is there any solar charging on the roof at all? Every single model that we build has standard solar power. Our Turismo models, the short units, have standard 200 watts of solar power. Our Torino and our Stratus have standard 300 watts of solar power on every model. So all of our models have a standard lagoon table, and this is now mounted in the rear position of a Strata tour package. So of course you can adjust the height of this and move this all around however you'd like. And it's not squeaking, you know, when we move this around, I'm not feeling any resistance. It's very, now can you lock it into place? You sure can, yeah. You're just gonna lock that into place right here with these devices. Just like here, you can unlock this down here and adjust the height of that. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can really feel the build quality when you start touching and feeling all of this stuff. Lots of little workspaces in here, and this is super easy to turn this seat around. We've got this little lever down here. You just pull that, spins right around, and then you just use the, uh, the power controls over here to push this back. And then boom, we've got a nice little workstation up here. This is such a nice utilization of this space without interfering with that bed. So, so if someone wants to catch a nap back there and you want to get some work done up here, it's kind of nice that you have those separate spaces. More table space. What's going on here? So that lagoon table that we talked about that can be mounted in the rear can also be mounted up front here so you can get some extra workspace here for your kitchen area. Then if you want to go outside, of course, you just flip this around and you can again raise and lower the height of this and then you get some extra workspace there you can lower that all the way down also so if you want to be from the outside of the vehicle uh, from the outside of the vehicle you got some usable table space out there from the outside of the vehicle as well very versatile application there now this is the new sprinter cockpit up here a lot going on what what's going on up here so all of the chassis we're getting now from mercedes are fully fully loaded chassis with every possible option on these units. So you have your Mercedes-Benz MBUX system, MBUX. This is the 10.5 inch 
navigation screen. And that comes, of course, with Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM satellite radio. You have your multifunction steering wheel. You have your power seats on each side. These are all heated seats as well. You have your active lane guidance as well for an active safety feature with your adaptive cruise control. And just a, a beautiful display here of that Mercedes-Benz quality. And I think the quality of the, the Gretsch RV build really complements the amazing quality of the Mercedes-Benz chassis here. So. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of those options that you talked about, those are not going to be standard on a lot of the other Class B Sprinter vans out there. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Here you have the beautiful LED high-performance headlights here as well, part of the full-package Mercedes-Benz chassis. Not an option missing on this chassis. Yes, sir. Now, I'm seeing these little uh, stickers on some of these vans. It says QC approval. What does that mean? Absolutely. So we have the most extensive quality control process in the Class B van world, hands down. So we have a three-stage quality control process. This van not only goes through quality control at every single production station while it's being produced, but it has final quality control at the end of our production line. Uh, thereafter, it gets driven from our production facility to our home office in Riverside, California by our trained drivers. They give it about a two and a half hour shakedown test, put a couple hundred miles on it, and then it goes through final quality control in detail here at our home office in Riverside, California. So three-stage quality control process. This thing is getting QC'd multiple times before it gets shipped out to our dealers or picked up by a customer here at our home office. Now, what about your warranty network? What is your dealer network for service work? And, and We have an amazing dealer network. We have 15 different dealership groups throughout the U.S. with currently 55 physical locations within that 15 dealer groups. So we are fully covered. Also, as far as our warranty, our Gretsch RV warranty is three years, 36,000 miles on everything that we manufacture. And that limited warranty really matches the Mercedes-Benz three year, 36,000 limited warranty. We will authorize any RV repair center or RV mobile repair technician in the country to do warranty work on our behalf. We do not need the unit to go to one of our dealers per se to you know, get Gretsch RV warranty work. So if you're out on the road, you have peace of mind. A huge thanks to the team at Gretsch for showing us around their facility today. I really appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.